the average cyclist here, and these are my new wheels. <laughs> So on closer inspection, there's just this one tiny little nick there on the front hub there. Uh, doesn't stop the lock nut going on, but that, I haven't done this. That, that was like that one when it came out of the box. But other than that, the rims and the spokes are all perfect. Um, there's no blemishes or anything on them at all. So yeah, so far, so good. So because of the part shortage, I really struggled to get hold of discs and my bike, I've got a 160 at the front and a 140 at the back. Uh, and I had to get the 140 off a chap off Facebook. And I think that was about 45 quid for a second hand disc. Uh, and I think retail on these Jura Ace um, discs is 55, something like that. And then to get the um, front disc, the 160, I had to buy, buy two um, on eBay. And that was about 110 quid for the pair. So I'm going to flog the other one uh, uh, in a bit to, to, to get some of my money back there. But just no shops had either the Jura Ace ones or the Altegra. Oh, these are, I forget the, the, the actual model is it written on here. Um, yeah, it's the SM Road Type 900S. So these are Jura, the Jura Ace ones. Um, absolute nightmare. And then to fit these, you need a uh, Shimano cassette tool. To, just to put the, the lock ring on. So I've just um, attached a disc and I thought I'd put before moving the tires across just to see how true true they were. And they are absolutely perfect. It's very hard to show this on camera, but you can take my word for it. They're pretty bloody good. Um, straight out of the box, so I don't think I need to fiddle with the spokes or anything. So fantastic. So I just thought I'd do a comparison of my old wheels. So these are giant PR. Twos, aluminium, I think they're 28 mil in depth, something like that, with GP5000 tyres, these um, dodgy, non-branded six-bolt discs, and then I assume the bike shops just put the normal continental tubes in there, so I'm going to swap it out for these 50 mil carbon rims, I've got Jura Ace discs, and then I always use the lightweight tubes so this is 1.4 kilos for the front wheels let's see how that compares against the new wheels so here's the complete wheel um and it's coming in at 1317 so it's about 90 gram saving and obviously the rim depth is well twice more than twice it's twice as deep if you compare it to to these uh, and I think the uh, the the, the Dura Ace discs actually actually weigh a bit more than what's on on the old bike, so very chuffed with that all round. And then for the rear wheel with disc, we've got one point two one kilos. Okay, and then the new one with disc is one point zero six. Um, so that's a hell of a saving there. And then just to illustrate the point with the tubes. This is the lightweight ones coming at 75 grams, and then that's the standard ones coming at 96. I think it's a pound difference, so I reckon a pound for 20 gram savings probably the best value weight saving you could possibly get on a bike. So there we go, that's the wheels all on. Everything's Perfectly true, there's no nicks in the wheels. The quality so far is excellent. The weights are good as described and so are the measurements uh, in terms of the, the width of the of the rim. And the hub's pretty good as well. Ro sort of resistance wise, they seem pretty decent, at least as good as um, my old prime wheel set. And um, I mean, I like a loud rear cassette 
um, rear hub doesn't really matter but uh fu they function function well so far the only thing to do now is actually ride ride them see how they feel see if i can notice any improvement but unfortunately at the moment i've got covid so um maybe i'll get out in the week uh to give them a try but i'm i'm ready to, ready and raring to go so i previously said that i was going to get some 50 mil hunts but i took an absolute punt and bought these from aliexpress came probably out of a mold from another manufacturer to be honest and i've done probably 150 200k on them not too sure uh, four or five shortish rides but they've taken a bit of hammering because today i've accidentally come on this stupid dirt track and last weekend i ended up going down the cotswold way through a field over a little stream so they've had a hammer in and so far so good completely true spokes are seem equally tensioned they're uh, as light as they said they would be uh, and cheap as chips so they were just 242 pounds when i bought them uh, and i was expecting to pay customs but somehow i just never ended up getting charged or anything so i don't know if aliexpress are taking care of it or, or whatever they arrived well packaged completely as described and it took a about three weeks for them to come which isn't too too bad i think it's like 22 days so i was uh i was pretty chuffed compared to spending what would have been another 600 pounds for for some hunts or something similar possibly the wiggle prime black editions i just can't fault it so far i for years i've been de debating whether to buy some chinese knockoff uh wheels but haven't because of rim brakes i didn't fancy squishing what was potentially a cheaper product between rim brakes but now with discs that risk has sort of gone away, gone away and yeah i mean i've been through loads of stupid terrain so far uh and what i'll probably do is do another review about a thousand k mark something like that to see see if they're still going strong i'll put a link in the description to this particular set they have gone up in price a little bit but um at least you know if you click that link you'll be getting what i've got what i've got here i've swapped out the rotors for some jaw race rotors because these are center lock hubs the wheels that came with the giant the pr2s they had the old school six bolt system so i've swapped those out just all around lovely lovely bike lovely bit of kit sound great free hubs immense really decent yeah all good 